Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at an AQA A-level chemistry pass paper, um, specifically paper two, June 2017, if you want to check it out yourself. Um, now, here, we're actually going to start with a cheeky nomenclature question. So um, what do we have to do here? We have to give the full IUPAC name of isomer P. So this guy right here. And also, they've given us our molecular formula C6H12O2. All right, so what we have to do here is to simply start with counting the longest carbon chain. So if you're familiar with nomenclature, how to do it, pause the video, give it an attempt yourself and see how well you perform. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna count the longest chain. Now, you always want to look at which functional groups are present, and then you would label the carbon within that functional group as the lowest carbon. Hence, um, the reason for this is because it has the highest priority. So for example, um, what I'm gonna do is just list all of our functional groups here. So this one right here is a carboxylic acid, okay? So I'm gonna put Q right here. Obviously, during the exam, you don't have to write all this down. You can sort of do it um, in your head, but I'm just sort of demonstrating it here. So Q, carboxylic acid, that's our first priority functional group. Then we've got an alkene here, okay? So our alkene, I'm just gonna put uh, C of one C as our alkene. And we also have an alcohol group. So we have an alkyl group here, uh, on this carbon and we have an alkyl group here. So I'm just gonna put alkyl, okay? Another word of thinking about alkyl is just an alkane, okay? But now what we have to do is we have to look for the longest carbon chain. So the longest carbon chain starting from the highest priority group, okay? Carboxylic acids are always the highest priority regardless of whichever functional groups are present. All right, so I'm gonna say this is carbon one, okay? Next, if we follow along the chain, this is carbon two, carbon three. Now we're, gonna, we're obviously not going to go down here because that branches off this way and there's a longer carbon chain this way. So this is carbon four, this is carbon five. Okay, now, as I mentioned, we have an alkyl group. We have one alkyl group here and one alkyl group here being branched off. However, because this is now part of the longest chain, we don't consider it a branch. So this would be our branching alkyl group, okay? Now, We've named our longest uh, carbon chain, right? And that's part of an alkene functional group. So I'm gonna label this as pentene. Okay, now we'll break it down in a second of, of where we're gonna place this within the name. Next up is our carboxylic acid functional group, okay? So this is actually going to be um, pentanoic acid. So pentanoic acid. Okay, now you may be thinking, why has he put pentene and pentanoic acid? Hopefully it will become clear in a second. Next up is an alkyl group right here. So this is just a methyl. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to label each of the positions within the carbon chain. So when we've got our priority group, our highest priority group in this is our carboxylic acid, our pentanoic acid, okay? The highest priority functional group is always going to be the suffix, so the end of the name. Okay, now what we have to do here is also look for the position of the carbon-carbon double bond. Okay, so if I was to write this out, I'm going to end, always end with enoic acid. Okay, now the reason I end in enoic acid is because it's a functional group which involves a, an alkene and a carboxylic acid. So I'm gonna end it with enoic acid. Okay, so that's our suffix ending, we can put a dash in front of that. All right, next we have to think, what is our next priority group? Is it our alkene or is it our alkyl group, our methyl branched off? So it's actually our alkene. Hopefully you're aware of the sequence of priority. Um, so next up would be our alkene. So I'm going to put pent for our pentanoic acid and our pentene. Now, which position is this in? Because when we're, la when we're naming a alkenes, which is longer than three carbons, we always have to say which position is the double bond in. So is it going to be in our third carbon or our second carbon? So this is simply going to be in our second carbon, okay? Because we want to pick the lowest carbon possible. So that's gonna be pent two enoic acid. Now what we want to do is include our branching methyl group here, and we always want to say which position the carbon is on. So this is just again on our second carbon. All right, so this is gonna be um, two methyl, two methyl pent to enoic acid, okay? Now we're actually missing something here, which is very important. If you look at this molecule here, we can see that within this alkene, we've got four 
different groups attached, okay? Two different groups attached to each carbon within the double bond. So that makes it exhibit geometric isomerism, more specifically EZ isomerism, okay? Now, when the prior, the highest priority groups are on the same side of the molecule, which are these two right here, our ethyl group and our um, carboxylic acid group, this makes it a Z isomer, okay? So our full name would be Z2 methyl pent 2 enoic acid. So that's the end of the video guys, please drop me a like, hopefully this was helpful, subscribe for future chemistry content, it really helps the channel grow, best of luck in your exams guys, peace.